Well, the day has come. Time to finish the bathroom off. We've got to put pay specs on the roof, which we've already cut. We've got to cut the furniture board for the front. We've got to make sure it all fits. Then we've got to cut a hole out for the door. Fit it all in place. Make it all waterproof. Let's just get on with it. Right, so. Have already pre-cut this pair specs for the roof. All we've got to do now is just whack out a load of silicon on it and figure out a way how to hold it up there while we carry on with other stuff. I'm thinking a couple of clamps and... I don't know, but get up there anyway. It'll be all right, don't worry about it. got the roof stuck up and Emma did have a good idea of using the extendable ladder to keep it pushed up. I will show you now. That's a good idea. Right, so now while that's um, going off, we got to fill that gap with a load of furniture boards and cut a big hole for a door. More holes. Always cutting holes. It's all about the holes. Do enjoy a good hole. Who doesn't enjoy a good hole? Let's see if it fits! Well, that went in dead easy, didn't it? Right, so, got it all nice and snug to the ceiling. We've got to take it out now, twice. Um, what we're going to do is, we've left it overhanging either side, because obviously the, the furniture board is wider than the door hole. Um, and what we're going to do is, because, no, a van, don't care who you are, right? It can be anyone. Nothing is ever completely straight. This isn't me doing some sort of 90s big fish, little fish, cardboard box rave. This is me that's straight. No, it's not. Fuck off. Anyway, <gasps> you know what I mean. Nothing's ever straight, nothing's ever plumbed. So it means even if this is a straight edge, putting it right up to this board, it's going to go off somewhere. So what we're going to do is We've put this in, we've left a small overhang on each side and we're just going to mark down basically the back of this to meet the back of each side. That way when we put it back in, it will be perfectly straight. It will look straight. You know what I mean? If you don't know what I mean, fucking watch Greg Vergo. <laughs> Hi Greg, fled so much from you. I haven't, but you know. Um, anyway, a few ideas come from all over the place. Mainly B Jam Van. Learned loads off B Jam Van. You know what I mean? Just going on one here, aren't I? Shut up, Neil. Just carry on. Stop annoying people. Make them friends. <laughs> He's so comfy. <laughs> Let's mark some wood. Right, so we're measuring up to cutting the door for the inside and we've realised that the top of the door needs to be to that freckle. So from the top of my finger to that freckle. We just couldn't be arsed getting the tape measure, so it's to that, and that's literally a true story. It's to that freckle. New measurements? Freckle measurements? So to that freckle, is 11 centimeters. We've got snacks.
So now we've done all the measurements, we're going to cut a big hole out of it and then try and get it in the van without snapping it. Now we've got the front cut, the door cut, I've cut the PVC for the insides, which is right there. We're going to push the door up with the PVC in the inside. Once it's all lined up and leveled up and we've got it all screwed in, we're then going to attach the PVC to the inside. Then we're going to take the timbre door, which is just there, which I will talk about in a bit. Um, I was lost what I was saying. What was I saying? Get this front on, then we can silicon round it, then we can put the PVC on, then we can silicon round it again, let it all go off, let it all dry, let the silicon go hard, then we can fit the timbre door. Right, let's do that first. Let's just screw things up. Nearly done though. <laughs> Emma's going to kill me because this is her job. Sorry. That's all back in place. So I pre-drilled the screws and the screws that we're going to be using are these boys. Now they do have a little cap that goes on top of them that makes them look like that you see is it focusing not really is it but they got a little cap that goes on the top and we just think that there's no better way to secure the front on than with screws but genuinely screws look a bit crap so it's worth spending out a few more quiz get them ones with caps on and it does actually look quite pretty. It goes with the ceiling lights. So, let's carry on. Finally, the edge and trim has arrived. Oh, and Emma's bought me a little... Pardon? Emma's bought me a little mallet to knock it on with. Apparently Poppy doesn't like the mallet. Anyway, right. So, we're going to knock this edge and trim on the side and on the door. We've got a little bit to do around the cupboard that's at the back of this. And then this one is nearly, well, I'd say 99.9% .9 finished. Then we've just got another two bands to do. So anyway, let's get on with this and get putting it on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want to go? Here you go. You try. No? Okay. Finally, it's finished, trimmed up, all done, shower in, toilet in, water in, it all works and it's all fine. Let's go and have a look.
There we go. All neat, all tidy, and the tambour. The tambour literally just connects to this magnet down here. And when the mic's not on the way, it locks. So there we go, that's one toilet. All done and dusted. Shower done, kitchen done. It was an absolute kerfuffle. Waiting for edging trim. But, you know, there you go. It's done now, it's complete, finished. Right, I'm gonna have a little bit of a look around it. Check over everything. Oh no, we've got seat cushions to make next. Still waiting for Emma to make a colour. Hmm, come on Em. Have a look. So, while I get Emma's ass kicked into gear, leave us a comment, give us a little thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed the shower. And I know you like the kitchen. But if you didn't like the kitchen, there's going to be a card up there somewhere. I don't know where, because I can't remember. Is it that side? Is it that side? Poppy won't shut up, so it's my time to go. Whatever you do, do it well. And, um, see you soon. Thank you.